go outside. Good morning all, I hope everyone's having a good day, morning or evening, whatever time of the day it is for you guys. And I hope you're enjoying coming into winter time, I know I am. Apart from this awful cold I've got, and don't worry, I got tested for COVID, it's negative. Good news this morning. So that means I can continue to go to gym and do my thing. Right Finn? So please do excuse the raspy voice today in this video because the chest just isn't doing too good to be honest. So I've asked the Patreon supporters to send me some questions to answer throughout this vlog. Also at the start of this week I uploaded a vlog on the Patreon just for the Patreon supporters. So if you want to check that out and other content that I've done just for the Patreon, hit the link in the description. So here, so here, here's the first question from Peter Hayes. Who are the athletes outside of gymnastics that you look up to most? Outside of gymnastics I mostly look up to boxers. Now there's a reason for that. I love that fighter's mentality. When I speak to an Irish boxer or any other boxer across the world or hear their interviews, they've got this fighting mentality. They need to win. It's not that they want to win, they need to win. And it's evident when you speak to them, when you hear interviews, that's what I want. I can relate with them. I've also got that fighting mentality where I need to win. It is a necessity to go to a competition and get a medal wrapped around my neck. And here's one more before I get going to training. Wendy Young has asked what is my favorite cheat meal. It is pizza. All right, let's get going. Don't know if you can hear that. That is some forest ambient sounds that I listened to the entire journey to Dublin. I sat and listened to this for two and a half hours straight, like a crazy person. But I tell you what, it was actually pretty nice to listen to. And it got me thinking about a lot of things because I feel like I needed to think about some things and that was just perfect. To stick on in the background, not focus on anything and just focus on my brain. I was also focusing on what I needed to do in the gym today. So I've got it all locked up in here. Now it's time to put it into action. Yes, this week we have moved on to full punch double fronts and it's a good step forward. We're getting onto that thin mat on top of the floor so we're not onto a crash mat anymore but it's looking good and it's some good progress. I've never actually done that skill and combination before ever on floor so um, I haven't even done it that much on tumble track either but it seems like the combination that's best for me. I'm quite good at understanding that twist and rebounds and coming out of twists a lot better than a straight front or, or running into a skill so it seems to technically work quite well for me. Obviously very very far from perfect but this is like literally my first ever session doing those tumbles. So it's good, it's a good start. Now we'll move on to some two and a half punches. So we're back home now and that was probably the first session this week that I was really, really happy with. This week has been a struggle. As I said, I'm under the weather, uh, my shoulder's a little bit sore this week and it's just one of those weeks where 
know, those few things are just piling up on me. So that's that's okay to have a week like that. As I said before in the in last week's video, I actually had an amazing week. So maybe all of that effort I put into training is catching up on me. But nonetheless, I made today's session good. Hopefully make tomorrow's session good. As I said earlier, that was the first time I ever done that combination on floor. So that's it's really exciting learning these new skills. And uh, also I was doing some new stuff on pommel horse, although I didn't get much pommel filmed today uh, I'll, I'll record more stuff for you guys tomorrow and uh, put it into a video probably get this uploaded friday evening or saturday probably saturday so that i can take my time editing this make it a good one so i'm glad to be back on track and training but now we will answer another question now this is an interesting one elena has asked if you had the opportunity to bring two gymnasts one past and one present to train with you for a day, excluding Luke. Luke, you're out of this picture. Who would those be and why? Ooh, that is a tough question. So many gymnasts going through my head. Of course, I can say that I did train with the king, King Kohei Uchimura. Now, I would love to have another session with that man, I can tell you that for sure. However, one of them gymnasts would have to be Zhao Quinn. Down the horse. And watch his dismount. Back up. Flies right oh, up. man. That's it. That's it. Just hand him the goal. Yeah, Everybody else can is... go back to the warm up gym. Wow. So there wasn't much footage of Xiao Quinn out there, especially in training. The only footage you would see of him is at the top level competitions, which were televised, and obviously that's why it was recorded. So I've always, always searched the internet for Zhao Quinn training and I never succeeded. I maybe the closest I got was like a warm-up of a competition, but I never saw him doing like a proper training program and I would have loved to see what his program looked like. So Zhao Quinn, well I guess he's a past gymnast, so he he'll be my past gymnast. Present gymnast will have to be Two hours later. That's ah, so hard to pick. I'm just gonna say Nikita Nagorny. What are we gonna see here? There's our answer. There is our answer. Magic. I think that would be really cool to see him training. And I've seen him train at competitions and seen how focused and professional he is. He's like a businessman when he comes to a competition. And I just wonder if he would be like that in training also, just going through them gym doors and focused on every single skill and everything he does, just like he does in competition. <laughs> back home another tiring session again today still recovering from that short illness however we did what we could do and that's all you can ask for when you're a little bit under the weather as long as you get to the gym and at least do something that's the main thing to finish off this vlog we'll just answer a couple more patreon questions abby stovall asked what is your favorite thing about the christmas season my favorite thing about christmas is getting the chance to be around people that i love family, friends, and just celebrating a, a happy time of the year. Very grateful to have those people in my life. Cody has asked me, how did you find starting floor as a beginner? Did you find it really hard? How long did it take you to do your very first floor routine? What advice would you give somebody starting off? So I did find it difficult on floor. I found everything in gymnastics difficult when I first started out, but that is gymnastics for you. And like everything in gymnastics, you have to start at the basic level. So that's when I started doing routines was those really basic basic floor routines like this one Those are the routines that you do start off doing and then you just progressively get better and better, get new skills, put that into the routine, construct a routine throughout your career that suits you best and then hopefully the finished product will be enough to get that Olympic medal. My advice to anybody starting gymnastics full stop is to enjoy the sport. I still enjoy the sport to this day and I've been doing it since I was six years old. Of course there were some very challenging times and times that I didn't actually want to be in the gym but those actually made me stronger and made me 
me enjoy the sport even more because it was that bit sweeter when a victory happened because there's so many failures once you actually succeed in a skill after falling hundreds and thousands of times it makes it so much better so my advice for beginners in gymnastics is to stick at it enjoy it and push through the hard times because it will pay off eventually Listen, thank you Patreon supporters for them questions and thank you guys for watching. There's a little bit more talking than normal in this video, but I thought that I would just share a piece of my mind to you guys. I hope everyone has had a fantastic day or is going to have a fantastic day. Stay positive, keep smiling, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.